So, just me Ted 1969 here. It's the uh, 19th of November 2016 and we're at uh, Ross Creek in the uh, boneyard and uh, they call it that as I've said in previous videos because uh, you can see the bones of ancient conifer trees embedded here into the cliffs. You can imagine looking at these round shapes edge on here like this that uh, at one time these were tree trunks that had fallen and uh, as they rotted their uh, the hollows that they created got filled in with different minerals which creates this uh, jasper stuff and in some cases at the core of them it gets filled in with different other minerals that can then form quartz and amethyst and other things. As you can see we're looking deep up into that pipe there and there's some kind of crystal activity in there which I can't quite get quite well enough with the camera there but I can see some glinty pointy objects in the back there so that might be interesting. Uh, the laws in Nova Scotia and probably most places say that you can't pick at the cliffs themselves so I'm just enjoying this here uh, feature here and you can see the quartzy material here that's formed. That's almost amethyst. It has a sort of a purplish hue to it but sometimes it's hard to tell against that red brown background there. So and as you can see the cliffs are pregnant with all these jaspery features because of course there was a lot of trees it was probably an ancient forest in the old world paleolithic times or whatever period it was mesozoic or something and uh, they got buried in time and uh, that mud became rock and the rock became the cliffs and now the bay of fundy tides uh, mercilessly and relentlessly pound at it here you can see another tree and the core of some kind of quartz going on right there so that feels different texture wise and it uh, just looks really really nice I hope the camera's picking that up well there anyway so we're here Christmas shopping today looking for any amethysty finds on the shore that might be nice to send out for Christmas gifts and uh, as you can see the mall isn't too crowded we had a primo parking spot uh, it's been a bit rainy lately and uh, the high tides have made a lot of silt wash up so the rocks coming out were a bit slimy so we had to go a little slower than usual. Usually it's about a 10 minute walk to get here from where we park. Today it probably took us closer to 20 minutes or even half an hour. That's okay. We got here without falling. That's the main thing. Bernice is down the shore there and she's poking around uh, doing her thing. And uh, we're going to have a good time for a couple hours till the tide starts coming back up and then we'll have to think about heading back.